Janos are here. This is not one of those life changing tutorials, but if you ever find yourself having to render multiple sequences from Premiere Pro, there's an easier way to do it than by using the Premiere Pro export control. So let me show you this project. I am creating multiple clips from the same source video files for a new book that I'm writing. And the clip total is 16 clips. So basically I've got 16 sequences here. And if I was using the traditional technique, I would choose the sequence, file, export, media, brings up the export settings dialog. I choose the format. I choose the preset, which in this case is YouTube 720p 30. Press export to export directly from export settings, but in this case I'd press Q to send it to the Adobe Media Encoder. And let me not do that, let me cancel out. And then I'd move on to Gator 2, the second clip. Kind of tedious, have to do that 16 times, and there is an easier way. And the easier way involves dynamic link via the Adobe Media Encoder. So the Adobe Media Encoder, a lot of people typically use it just as an encoder to send from Premiere Pro, but you can also load files, After Effects compositions, and Premiere Pro sequences. So if we add a Premiere Pro sequence, we open that dialog, we choose the project, and all my sequences are in one folder. Here's the 16. Click OK. And then here are all the sequences loaded. Now I'm going to press the tilde key above the tab key on the Mac keyboard to maximize that window. And then I'm going to press Control A, actually Command A on my Mac keyboard, but Control A if you're working on a Windows computer. And the cool thing about Adobe Media Encoder is that if you select all of your clips in the queue window and then you change the preset or the format, they change for all the clips. So right now the default preset, which is match source high bitrate, is selected. I want to change that for all of them to YouTube 720p 30 at 10 megabits per second. So I change it for the top one, and as you can see, it changes for all the clips in the queue window. And the thing you can't change for all of them is the output file. So if I open up the output file to send the file to a different location, that only applies to the selected clip, not to all the clips. So you can either go through and change them all, or you can render out to where the files were going and then just move them to the desired location. I'm going to click the tilde key to restore the regular workspace. So all the clips are ready to encode. I press the magic start queue button and the files start encoding. So if you ever find yourself having to render multiple sequences from Premiere Pro, remember that there's an easier way to do it via dynamic link using the Adobe Media Encoder. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.